Hey there, it's Walt. So I'm not a Brit. I'm not a monarchist. I think there are a lot of issues with royalty and royals and the cost of it. And of course, huge issues with colonies and colonization and imperialism and all of that. But I miss the Queen. I mourn her passing. She was an incredible human being. She was fueled by a sense of duty, a sense of obligation. She had discipline and tenacity and courage and vision. And the scope of history, she looked over the long horizon of history and she embraced the duty that she had to her people and she respected and she honored that office and in all of the obituaries that you read and all of the recounting that you read of her reign and of her leadership there is a word that crops up over and over and over again and it's consistency Queen Elizabeth was consistent. She was stable. She showed up every day in every situation and was consistent. And that's a rare thing in the world today among leaders, among managers, among in the culture. That sense of consistency, that sense of stability. A job of a leader is to keep her or his people safe. There's a wonderful leadership book by Simon Sinek called Leaders Eat Last. And Sinek postulates that that's the entire duty of leadership, to allow your people to feel safe so that they can show up and do what they need to do in the world. Who wants to follow somebody that doesn't allow them to feel safe? And the idea of showing up with stability and consistency engenders a sense of security and safety. And that's what Elizabeth did. That's the hallmark of her leadership, stability and safety. And that's not necessarily in this day and age sexy or jazzy. In fact, it's boring. But boring is often really good. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Bye for now.